So hi and welcome to another video and today my first impressions on the ExtraFi M42 wireless. I know a lot of you've been anticipating this video and can't wait for it to come out. So I'm going to show you what my thoughts are on it, do a few measurements. This has all been taken while I've been streaming it live on Twitch Betty Bob. So you want to catch this straight away before it's even on YouTube. Make sure you subscribed or follow me on there. And yeah, let's get on with it. I'm going to be doing a weight reduction for it and a teardown as well. These videos will be out after this one. And we'll show you what you can do with it and how it's all built. And whether you should be picking it up. So let's get on with it. So what's my first impressions of the extra fry M42 wireless? People have been waiting for it. Um, get a spare cover in the back. It's pretty good. It's a little bit more it looks a bit flatter maybe, a bit more of an earlier curve. There's a screw mount here, you see it? I unscrew it and then you can pin the back up. Well, that's how I think it works. Pretty sure that is how it works. You give you a screwdriver, that's pretty sweet. Right? Get a screwdriver, noise. We get a uh, standard USB-C, which is good. And then the normal extra fire dongle. Nothing special, looks pretty much the same, but they do put extra fire on it, which makes it easy to find. Especially with me, because I must have about 50 wireless dongles on my desk. Extra fire pack. So, good to see you get some spare feet in the pack. That's a pretty good start. Nice one, because they're always useful. Extra fire sticker, not the most exciting sticker in the world. And then you get a manual telling you how to do your RGB settings. Debounce, which is good. Different ways of swapping out the um, rear shell. There's also a screw here and here it's showing us for the shell. So you'll take those two off and that one off, which is quite a lot for a rear shell. And usual manual stuff, nice. Overall, I was using, I've been using the white version, so there's a black and white version of the M42, as you can see. Pretty good. I think I prefer the white, do you guys reckon, for the black? We could have put stealthy black feet on it, but I know why. I've improved the side buttons a little bit on the M42. Definitely feel better, and they're a good size. They don't feel, uh, they don't feel mushy. It's got a little bit of pre in it, but not bad. Sides, pretty, pretty decent. It's probably could even be switch travel up to be fair. It's that close. Um, obviously, it's USB C, which is good to see. Still got a lot of pre travel on their mains. That's quite a bit on that, foot, that right one. And on this left is there. Uh, I would say again, pretty. Pretty significant, unfortunately. Still decent, still using the scroll wheel. I don't like where I split rubber. I find it generally run my finger up and down the actual RGB line, which is why I particularly don't like it. Got a nice flat DPI though, which is nice. Full quality feels good. It's got no rattles in it whatsoever. Absolutely rock hard. Skates on it, they have been rounded as well, which is good. And good to see they're a good size as well. They're not too. Uh, too small. I think they're slightly wider than the old M42. We've also added the extra weight ability to move the weight around and we did that in the M4. It's a bit of a gimmick in my opinion. Um, but some people might find it useful. And then you've got your PR button and your other switches. Size wise it's pretty good. Not bad, 117. Fairly medium size. So with this hump, we'll change, we'll measure this one in a bit. Same scroll wheel which we've seen time after time. Maybe it's, yeah, same buttons I think on the front. Sound test, sounds quite nice. Oh, 
Overall feels pretty good. Overall I think the M42 is pretty solid. I like it in both the colours like you say, it's nice. A little white and a black version. I like the ability for you to be able to change the rear panel. That's cool, helps people change their grip a little bit. I'll have a go at changing that as well. Definitely feels like a good mouse. It's just a shame they've got quite quite a bit of pre-travel in the mains, but you can easily fix that with a few mods I've done on YouTube, not too bad. But nice skates, rock hard. Took the diffuser out of it. Um, if you remember the other M42, I had the diffuser from about here around, which added a bit of weight. Wasn't exactly ideal. Um, let's see what it weighs. So 67 on that one. So the white ones are gram heavy by the looks of it, give or take. At least they always are, even with the G Pro Superlight, those are gram heavier. But overall, the M42 is pretty well built, to be fair. The side buttons are probably some of the best I've felt, to be honest. Good uh, width on the side buttons. Hide the glare from the light. Narrow the front one. They're good. They don't feel mushy, they feel pretty snappy. They're definitely the proper switch as well. I see inside, but they're definitely a proper switch. They don't feel like the LAX people seem to be using at the minute, but it is slightly heavier than most at 67 grams, but it's still a good weight. We'll be overly concerned at 67 grams. I think it's definitely worth checking out for Nambi. Could be one of the better shaped zombies around at the minute, to be fair. Right. 